it's time to listen up guys we are forming this structure here on the 15 minute chart so this is very important if you're a bitcoin holder don't sleep on this don't miss out we're going to take a look at bitcoin on multiple different time frames i'm also going to talk about traditional markets just like i told you yesterday big buy-in opportunity right now so that was when bitcoin was at 13,700. obviously we had that massive move to the upside where are we going to go now that is what i want to talk about also so general cryptocurrency new stuff you need to know about if you're a bitcoin holder so yeah stick around for that welcome back everybody my name is cristiano bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day no fluff no noise straight to the point hey if you're getting value out of this channel make sure to subscribe right now and hit the bell click all because this is very time sensitive content guys you need to know about these things let us actually start off on the 15 minute candles right here you can see that we are forming this structure right here with the 15 minute candles and i talked about this over on twitter this is actually the one hour but it is the same channel i said decision time on the one hour for bitcoin and that was when bitcoin was at the few 14,401 so if we go to the one hour right here i can show you exactly where we were so we were actually at this candle you can see that we had that massive bounce off this and then now we are forming this massive green candle as well Ma this is absolutely amazing if we are able to actually break this oh 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 it's getting there if we're actually able to break this channel, that is going to be completely insane. One thing I need to talk about though is, and I guess it's just some caution for you because this is on the one hour chart and you can see that this channel is kind of parabolic. I mean, we went from 13,500 in this channel. It's an 8% increase just within the last 24, 26 hours basically. So yeah, you're going to see a point in which this is going to break down or break out. And if we break out, you're going to have an eventual blow off top and then a massive red candle. But yeah, just keep that in mind. And I did talk about this in my video yesterday as well. This is what I talked about. On the 15 minute chart, we are kind of seeing these market structures take place. So right here, you got this structure right here. And then you play within this, we had that breakdown. And then we formed this structure on the 15 minute chart. We had the pump to the upside. And then we formed this right here. We traded within it and then pump to the upside. And right now we dumped here. And are we going to form another one of these structures on the 15 minute candles? I would recommend everyone to take a look at the 15 minute candles and to see if some kind of structure is going to be formed here within the next couple of hours. So yeah, that was the video. We were talking about these 15 minute structures and I was telling everyone to keep your eyes on for a new structure. And uh, if you look at this video, this is the point in which we were actually at that point. We did actually form this structure. So hey, leave a like on this video if you had the notifications on on that video and were able to actually spot this formation forming. So where do we go from here? Well, basically, if we break down from this, I guess the target would be 13,800 because to the upside, we really don't have any clear target. I mean, we can look at this on the daily and you can see right here that this is territory we are not really that used to. The previous time we were at these levels, we're actually in the bull run of 2017, moving up towards our all time high. So what I will say though, is just remember this. At some point, we're going to have a big rally. And by big, I mean us reaching or actually surpassing the previous all time high. And if you think this sounds insane, well, we don't need to go any further than our previous all time high. Now, take a look at this. It took us four days to go from 8,000 up to 10,000. And more importantly, it took us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days to go from 9,500 up to $20,000. So yes, be prepared for everything and also be prepared for a blow off top. But why are we having this pump right now? Actually, as I'm making this video, I can see that 14,600 is about to be breached. Good times to be alive and holy Bitcoin, guys. But why this pump right now? Well, we don't need to go any further than my video yesterday. Instead of me repeating myself, let me explain why I was anticipating this move. Yeah, pretty interesting that we are currently actually pushing higher here. Again, this is just pent up demand. You are going to see an explosion 
once the capital on the sidelines is going to be deployed, both in the traditional markets, real estate, gold, silver, and Bitcoin. So yes, that is pretty simple, guys. It's just capital sitting on the sidelines. There was a lot of uncertainty. Right now, it seems like Biden is going to win. Sure, Donald Trump is trying to pull some things and perhaps he's going to succeed in that. But for now, at least the markets are very confident and you've had all this money just waiting to be deployed into the market. So you're seeing on the S&P 500 here, almost almost at 13 uh, well what is that 3500 about 79 dollars from our previous all-time high so that's pretty insane when you think about it but this was anticipated because if you go back to 2016 at the day of the election you got it right here and you pretty much saw the exact same thing you saw the markets go down but then donald trump won or just anyone won just certainty in the election and then the markets they regained confidence and then you saw this massive pump to the upside now what do you think is going to happen to bitcoin if you see a similar trump uh similar trump similar pump in the stock markets this was actually back in 2016 a 15% pump within uh, 77 days so that's absolutely insane i think that bitcoin is going to go even higher and that it may very well be the catalyst we need to far succeed our previous all-time high one final thing i want to talk about guys is that we are actually forming uh, a bit of an interesting thing right here because this is the uh, channel we have been talking about and if you look at this we have not yet breached this level right here so we have another what is this uh, 125 dollars before we reach the target of this channel which is 14,828 yeah that's what i'm watching guys in other news i want to talk about this article leverage trading is fueling bitcoin's rally to highest price since january 20. 18. So according to this article, on November 4th, crypto data market aggregated CryptoQuant published a chart indicating Binance estimated leverage rate though. Open interest divided by Bitcoin reserves has pushed into new all-time highs. So in a nutshell, a lot of people are leveraged trading right now, which might be a danger because if you see a massive dump, then those people are going to be liquidated and you're going to see a cascading red candle. This is what I talk about. Be prepared for a blow off top. Now, how far can this reach? I mean, it can reach 15,000, 16,000, 20,000 or beyond within the next couple of days. But at some point, the music is going to stop and then you have to be prepared. Also, what's interesting is that um, Joe Biden was actually heavily supported by Sam Bankman-Fried, who is the CEO of a cryptocurrency derivatives platform FTX. He made the second largest donation to Joe Biden's presidential campaign, according to details revealed in the Wall Street Journal on October 28th. So the actual article is right here. And if we go down and we take that away, you can actually see right here, Sam Bankman Freed was the top contributor to Joe Biden's campaign or well, top CEO contributor. This is pretty interesting why i mean yeah is there something else going on here other than sam bankman fried just wanting joe biden to win the election is there some incentive we don't know about is a joe biden president good for the crypto space as a whole i don't know let me know down in the comment section what do you think why did sam bankman fried donate so much money to joe biden and as i say that okay bitcoin is having a massive pump right here guys thank you so much for watching be careful out there be cautious take profit subscribe and i will see you in the next video